Nick and Millennials and today's session is about body language. Body language is a non-verbal communication to the audience. By our body language we are conveying a message to our audience and we are saying something. By a proper body language we can deliver a message to our audience non-verbally. When properly used, the body language can be a power, powerful way of emphasizing an important message we want to deliver. In this session, I'm going to talk about three different types of body language. First, facial expression. Second, hand gestures. And third, whole body movement. Number one, facial expressions. By facial expressions, we are delivering an emotion to our audience. Facial expression can be meaningful to give an emphasis on the message we want to deliver, if it's happy, if it's surprising, if it's sad. First, if you are talking to a wide audience or you're talking to a small audience, no matter what, smile is an important message to give a positive emotion give a positive emphasis on our message. Of course, the message that we want to deliver has to be good and positive. So, smile. There's, there doesn't need to be a very big smile where you have to fake it. It just needs to be a natural and gentle smile. So, smile. Second, hand gestures. By properly combining gestures with your message, you are focusing the attention of the audience. You can say the message to look right or left. You can raise something, you can go something to lower, you can lower something. You can say something fast, you can explain something, you can go top down. By properly using hand gestures, you can emphasize your communication on highly manner. Extra tip, please don't overuse your hand gestures because if you're using too fast, if you're moving too fast, if your message is not connected with the hand gestures, then your message is delivered on a very bad way and you are confusing the audience. So please be gentle and use your hand gestures very elegant conveyed with your message right okay three body movement by properly moving your body you can disrupt the monotony of your speech and you can also deliver a message or more specifically you can deliver a different part of your message by a different body position and body movement for example, if you want to talk about several things, you can start saying one thing at the one side of your, of your area, then when you want to say the second thing, the second point in your speech or in the presentation, you can move slightly to the left or right, saying the second topic, the second point if in your speech, and then move to the right for the third point. By moving to different positions, you are saying to your audience to remember the key point on each body movement or each body position. Also, by properly moving your body, you can also, combined with your head gestures, you can also say something meaningful to the audience or you can raise attention if there is need to say, to say attention. To raise attention. Also, when on speech, please stand wide, o wide open with your arms and shoulders wide. So this way you are opening yourself to the audience, you are conveying your positive energy, you're feeling much more conf confident and your audience can feel that. So please stand still, stand wide open and convey your message. Another note, Please don't make any gestures that can, that can confuse your audience or can go their attention to your movement instead of your message. So in the beginning 
or if you're nervous you can have some ticks or some movements that are very inappropriate and can, can distract your audience and please never put your arms behind because if you are like this and you want to convey something serious to your investors or to whoever do you think they're gonna take it seriously if you are like this? so to sum up there are three important body language you need to pay attention first facial attention combine your emotion with your message to deliver the right message to the audience and they they need to take it on the right way smile is the universal positive energy booster second hand gestures use your hand a very very elegant way combined with your what you're saying to properly deliver your message and third body language stand still wide open to your audience feel confident feel that positive energy share to the audience and don't make any unnecessary movements thank you for watching session two see you on next session session three how to conquer the fear of public speaking and how to boost your confidence see you soon